Today, we are going to look at this judge who has been ruling basically against Trump and doing unprecedented things in the Trump University case. And I'll be honest with you, I've kind of ignored Trump University to a certain extent. I've done some research. But after Trump came out and said, this guy is a Mexican, and by Mexican, his loyalty is to Mexico. And so I did some research and found out, wow, Trump needs to go further here. This guy is the head lawyer over a lawyer group based in California that for decades has been promoting basically race-based brainwashing. Now, I don't like the Ku Klux Klan, but Mecha and La Raza and organizations like this, as John Bounds report, that's up on Infowars.com, the hidden hand of hate breaks down. These guys basically operate just like the Klan. They say, for those inside our race, everything. For those outside the race, nothing. La Raza means the race. So I see Trump say this about this judge, and I think, what, you're just saying because he's Mexican uh, in his heritage that he ruled against you? Has Trump gone too far? And I go look it up, and the guy is worse than what Trump's saying. And that's the problem. Trump will just throw something out that's true, but then I guess with the sound bites, not get into the whole background of it. So we're going to talk about this judge a little bit right now, but I tell you, it's a fair headline to say that this judge is the equivalent of a Hispanic Grand Dragon. And John Bowne's report breaks down the Democrats, the history of the Klan. It's easy to organize people around race-based systems. You know, the Klan says they're persecuted, too. Well, Matt and La Raza say that as well. So I got to say, Donald Trump is completely right again. This ties into the whole Trump University. I know that the Clintons have their own much bigger scandal. Roger Stone is here to break this down. But this, this judge, Gonzalo Curiel, uh, this guy is simply amazing. And now we know why he is doing things in these rulings that's unprecedented. I just hope Trump unloads on him with like this Daily Caller article. Judge presiding over Trump University case is a member of La Raza. And again, that means the race. People say, well, that's okay because Hispanics can say we're a racial group, but whites, if you say we're in a racial group, it's bad. No, when people organize politically and say we're only for our group, classically liberal views are that's dangerous and bad, a la Adolf Hitler. Roger Stone, what do you have to say? Well, Alex, I think, first of all, that it's important to, do, to establish that the judge is not only a Mexican radical, he's also a Hillary Clinton contributor. Uh, but let's put this entire Clinton, uh, pardon me, this entire Trump University question uh, into context. Trump University was a real estate course, uh, and it was a very successful one for many people. Now, there were a very small percentage of students who were unhappy with the success of the course because they didn't go out and make a million dollars immediately. Uh, it, there's an overwhelming satisfaction rate. The number of dollars involved here are relatively small. This scandal pales in comparison to Laureate University. Laureate University is a multi-million dollar scam, essentially uh, a series of colleges uh, and, and schools where people were induced to load up on enormous personal debt uh, and, and then the college hired, uh, or Laureate hired Bill Clinton as their chancellor, paid him $16 million, which was illegally concealed for five years, never reported as required by law. And the uh, IFC, the International Finance Corporation, would give the schools $150 million. On top of that, Hillary Clinton's State Department would give Laureate $55 million. It turns out the guy running Laureate, Becker, is a convicted felon, a scamster, who has also benefited and been a major donor to the Clinton Foundation. So Trump needs to counterpunch, Alex. He needs to be very blunt. Trump University? Nothing compared to the scandal at Laureate University. The real question is, why isn't Laureate University on the front page of every paper in America instead of Trump University.